This next topic is one of my favorite topics because it helps us understand the cycle of the sun in the ocean or what we call the seasonal cycle. But more than that, it helps us understand how organisms respond to variations of the sun or of solar radiation in the ocean. And it's a topic that I studied well, for several years when I was in graduate school and as a postdoc and a, a, a subject that I'm still very interested in today. What happens to light as it penetrates in the ocean? And so in this particular section, we want to look at how does Earth's seasonal cycle affect the world ocean? And specifically, how does the seasonal cycle of the sun affect the world ocean? Well, to look at this, we're going to start with the major player here, and that would be Sol, our sun. Maybe you knew this, or maybe you didn't, but I was surprised to find that our sun actually has a name, and its name is Sol. The sun, of course, is the center of our solar system, a solar system being a collection of bodies or rocks orbiting a star. So if any object or any rock or comet or planet or planetoid or moon or asteroid or dwarf planet or planetary object or anything in the Kuiper belt, or if any of those things are orbiting our sun, they are part of our solar system. And just to make things simple, our solar system is called the solar system. How easy could that be? You may also know that our solar system is part of a collection of solar systems called what? Think of a candy bar. That's what the name of the galaxy that we live in, otherwise called the Milky Way galaxy. Okay, so here's some properties of the sun and they're just put here uh, for interest. Um, but if you think about our solar system, what's really truly astounding in a sense, it is to me anyway, that the sun of all the matter that we have here on Earth, it's a piddling amount compared to the Sun. The Sun makes up actually 99% of the total mass of our solar system. It's really an amazing, uh, an amazing object, if you want to think about it that way. And really, most life on our planet depends upon the Sun. The Sun supplies the energy for most everything that goes on on our planet. Of course, our internal energy inside the Earth supplies a little bit of uh, energy for certain processes. But the Sun is really the center of it all and that's probably why ancient people, many ancient people, used to once worship the Sun. The total amount of solar radiation, okay, remember we talked about radiant or solar energy, so the total amount of energy that comes from the Sun is called the solar constant, okay? That's the total amount of energy that impinges on the very outer limits of our atmosphere called the exosphere, so the solar constant. And it's generally a fairly constant amount of energy, although it does undergo slight variations depending on sunspots and other things like that that we don't really need to get into too much detail here. The astounding thing about the sun is that every day it delivers more energy than we've used in the past 100 years. That's Absolutely amazing. 4,000 trillion kilowatt hours every day are delivered to our planet by the sun. That's why solar energy is such an attractive option for long-term energy sustainability. We just haven't learned how to harness it yet. But because the sun is there and because it's delivering all this energy, it makes it the most likely candidate for supplying our planet and our civilization with energy on into the future. Okay, solar radiation is actually composed of different types of electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation is a type of radiation um, or it's a, a property of uh, radiation that involves both electrical and magnetic properties and we don't really need to get into that so much but just so that you understand that what comes from the Sun is electromagnetic radiation and electromagnetic radiation includes a wide range of different kinds of radiation that we're already familiar with. Okay, so just remember the electromagnetic spectrum, electromagnetic radiation, what it's composed of, and we won't get too concerned about James Kirk Maxwell and any of those kinds of things.